In God, we worship you. Father, we bless you for another day. We bless you for the gift of life. We thank you that you've created this new day for our blessing. Father, we welcome you, O oh Lord, on this morning devotion program. Let everyone that shows up this morning encounter you in a special way. Father, we worship you and we bless you. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Um, we will go ahead and, uh, um, and have you know, our worship time. We'll go ahead and have our worship time.
when nights are long and cold. In sadness, you are the laughter that shatters all my fears. When I'm all alone, your hand is there to hold. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. We'll go into our time of, um, of prayer. We get into our time of prayer. And this morning, we'll be praying for our pastor, Pastor Tunji. Uh, we will be praying for our pastor, Pastor Tunji. Um, second, let's be bring this up here. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. We'll be praying for Pastor Tunji. And our first prayer this morning 
Yes, let us thank God for his mighty hand of protection and preservation over the life of Pastor Tunji. Let us pray. Father, this morning we worship you, O God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We lift up high your name and we bless you, O God. We said, Father, your name be glorified, O God. Your name be magnified, O God. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for Pastor Tunji, O God. Oh, blessed be your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, we worship you. We just bless you for Pastor Tunji, O God. You said all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord that is mighty, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. A thousand shall fall on thy right and ten thousand thy, thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, see the reward of the wicked. Father, this morning, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your mighty hand of protection and provision over the life of Pastor Tunji. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, all the adoration, O oh God. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for Pastor Tunji, O oh God, for the strength you have given him, O oh God, to lead this morning devotion, O oh God. Father, this is your work, O oh God, the Lord you have assigned him to do. And we say thank you for that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We go to our prayer number two. Our prayer number two says, Father, we commit Pastor Tunji into your hands. Be merciful unto him, O Lord. And we ask that you take away his judgment and cast off his enemies, that he sees evil no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, this morning we commit Pastor Tunji in your hands, O oh God. We say, Father God, be merciful unto him. And we ask that you take away his judgments, O oh God, and you cast off his enemies, O oh God, that he sees evil no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, O oh God, said the Lord had taken away the judgment. He had cast out thine enemies. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Thou shalt shall not see evil anymore. Father, we are asking this morning, oh God, we're committing Pastor Tunji in your hands, oh God. We said, Father, be merciful unto him. Be merciful unto your son, Pastor Tunji, oh God. And oh Lord, my God, Father, we ask that you take away his judgment, oh God. Take away his judgment in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, let him see evil no more in his life. Oh Lord, rise up on behalf of your son, Pastor Tunji. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now we go to our prayer number three. Prayer number three. And we said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the Holy Spirit. Father, sanctify Pastor Tunji Holy, spirit, soul, and body, so he can remain a vessel of honor in your house, and that his stewardship shall continue to be acceptable unto you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the Holy Spirit, sanctify Pastor Tunji Holy, O God, spirit, soul, and body, so he can remain a vessel of honor in your house, and that his stewardship she can continue to be acceptable unto you, O oh God. Father, your word says, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray, God, your Holy Spirit and soul and body be fully preserved, blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray this morning. Father, we pray for Pastor Tunji, O oh God. We say, Lord Jehovah, this man that you have put on this to lead this morning devotion. We ask the Father, you sanctify him holy with God, spirit, soul, and body, so he can remain a vessel of honor in your house, and that his stewardship shall continue to be acceptable unto you with God. Oh, my Lord and my God, Father.
then you shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and you shall purify the sons of Levi and pash them as gold and silver. Oh, Father, this one, oh God, Lord, refine and purify Pastor Tunji, oh God. Lord, purify him, oh God, as your son, oh God. Lord Jehovah, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ and by your Holy Spirit that you sanctify Pastor Tunji, oh God, holy, oh God, spirit, soul, and body, that he shall remain a vessel of honor unto your house, and that his stewardship shall continue to be acceptable unto you. We worship you. We thank you. We bless you. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we go to our prayer number four. We said, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit, strengthen Pastor Tunji God with might in his inner man so he can continue to prevail in his Christian work. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit of God, we said, Father, strengthen Pastor Tunji with might in his inner man so he can and continue to prevail in his Christian work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, our Lord and our God, we said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, Father, we ask in Jesus' name of God, and by the Holy Spirit, strengthen Pastor Tunji with might in his inner man so he can continue to prevail in his Christian work. You said, and he shall grant you a according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man of God. Oh, Father, strengthen Pastor Tunji in his, in his inner man of God. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of God. Now, our prayer number five, our prayer number five, we said, Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the operation of the Holy Spirit, and thrown Pastor Tunji in his ministry endeavor all throughout this year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we said, Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the Holy and by the operation of the spirit of wisdom and draw Pastor Tunji and his ministry and diverse uh, all throughout this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says, uh, say he that you have he asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. This morning we are asking, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the operation of the spirit of wisdom, and drawn Pastor Tunji in his ministry endeavor all throughout this year, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up on behalf of your son, Pastor Tunji, with God. Blessed be your name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, strengthen Pastor Tunji, with God, by your mighty hand, oh Lord, and draw him of God, and draw on Pastor Tunji in his ministry endeavor all throughout this year. Thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Now our prayer number six. We said, Father, renew the health of Pastor Tunji and give him a new order of wisdom for mighty works all throughout this year, 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let us pray. Oh, Father, renew the health of Pastor Tunji and give him a new order of wisdom for mighty works for God all throughout the year 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, uh, the way says that, and when the Sabbath was done, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, from whence has this man these things? Uh, and what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even mighty works are wrought by his hands? Uh, Oh, Father, we pray for Pastor Tunji, oh God. We say, Lord, renew the health of Pastor Tunji and give him a new order of wisdom, of mighty works all throughout this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your mighty hand, oh God, be with Pastor Tunji, oh God. Renew this health, oh God. You said, uh, I shall renew your health, shall be renewed like the eagle. Uh, renew his strength like the eagle, oh God. Lord, renew his youthfulness, oh God. Renew his strength of God, give him a new order of wisdom, of mighty weapons, all throughout this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless the works of his sons of God. Hold his sons and strengthen his sons of God. Unto all of God. Bless the son of God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Now our prayer number seven. We said, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost breathe upon Pastor Tunji the breath of life, thereby empowering him for super effectiveness in all his kingdom works from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost breathe upon Pastor Tunji the breath of life, thereby empowering him for super effectiveness in all his kingdom works from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, your wife says to God that he spake unto me saying, this is the word of the Lord, oh Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit says the Lord, oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your spirit of God, let the Holy Spirit breathe upon Pastor Twinkie, the breath of life, thereby empowering him for super effectiveness in all his kingdom works uh, from henceforth uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, uh, Lord, by your power, by your Holy Spirit, oh God, this morning we present Pastor Tunju to you, oh God. Breathe afresh upon him, oh God, the breath of life, thereby empowering him, oh God, for super effectiveness in all his kingdom works uh, from henceforth in the name of Jesus. Christ. Oh Lord Jehovah, Father, you are to strengthen your children of God. Strengthen Pastor Twinji of God. Be his helper of God. Rise up on his behalf of God. Lord, uh, breathe afresh upon Pastor Twinji, the breath of life of God, the breath uh, that breath that turns uh, all dry bones into an exceeding great army. Breathe that breath uh, afresh upon Pastor Twinji this morning, thereby empowering him for super effectiveness in all his kingdom from henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we worship you. We thank you for Pastor Tunji. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we go to our prayer number eight. Prayer number eight. We say, Father, enable Pastor Tunji by your spirit and the work of the ministry, imparting him with great grace and directing his ways in all that he does. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Oh, Father, enable Pastor Tunji, oh Lord, by your spirit in the work of the ministry, imparting him with great grace and directing his ways in all that he does. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord and my God, rise up on behalf of your son, Pastor Tunji, oh God. Oh, Lord, enable Pastor Tunji by your spirit in the work of this ministry and back to him, oh God, with great grace and directing his ways in all that he does in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says and I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who had enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry Oh Lord, Father, you enable us, O God, enable Pastor Tunji, O God, by the Spirit, O God, oh, in the work of this ministry, imparting him with great grace and directing his ways in all that he does in the name of Jesus Christ. So that I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city and he shall let go of my captives. No surprise, no reward, say us the Lord. Oh Father, the this morning, remember your son, Pastor Tunji Wago. Enable Pastor Tunji Wago by your spirit in the work of the ministry, imparting him Wago with great grace and directing his ways. Uh, oh Lord, uh, in all that he does, Wago, help him Wago, be a helper unto him Wago, enable him Wago. Your word says, uh, and you shall enable us. Uh, it's a Christ uh, who has enabled me, uh, Christ uh, who has enabled me. Oh Father, enable Pastor Tunji Wago, enable your son, Pastor with God by your spirit uh, in the work of the ministry, imparting him with great grace and directing his ways in all that he does. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. We, now we go to our prayer number nine. Our prayer number nine. We say, Father, secure your hedge of protection around Pastor Tunji and his family as you secure their welfare prosperously in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, Father, secure your hedge of protection around Pastor Tunji 
and his family. I ask you secure their welfare prosperously in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jesus, uh, your word says, uh, have not thou men and hands around him and about his heart and about all that he had on every side. Uh, yeah, thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land oh father this morning oh god we say lord we, we pray that you secure pastor twenty oh god you secure a hedge around him oh god father secure your hedge of protection around pastor twenty and his family as you secure their welfare prosperity in the name of jesus god rise up oh god on behalf of your son pastor twenty oh god oh jehovah be his help of God, secure your head of protection all around Pastor Tunji and his family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be his helper this morning, God. Oh, my Lord and my God, secure your head of protection all around Pastor Tunji in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, oh Lord God Almighty. Father, we give you glory. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, um, saints of God, I want to read these two Bible verses. And as we read them, um, you know, I just want to remind you of a secret of the kingdom of God. You know, Pastor Tunji has been our pastor on this platform. You know, he's been bringing the word of God to us daily, preparing. There's a lot of preparation that goes into the morning devotion uh, uh, um, program and the blessing that he brings us each day. So I want to read these two Bible verses to us. Uh, Mark 9, 41 says, For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because ye belong to Christ, I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Now, Matthew 10, 41 he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. So saints of God, just want to remind you that your seed unto Pastor Tunji is a profitable seed unto you. Your support Unto him and unto the ministry is rewarding unto you. Christ shall surely reward you. These are words from Jesus Christ himself. And he himself is the word of God. So just want to remind all of us that as we pray for Pastor Tunji, let us also remember to minister unto him in physical also, you know, in precious goods, right? In, in, in all forms that we can and we, you know, we can honor him for the work that he's doing. You know, he is doing this full time. He is full time pastor. You know, after this, I will go to work, but that is his work. So I'm encouraging all of us, I'm reminding all of us again that it is it is precious in the sight of the Lord that we support the man of God. We thank God and we bless him in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Now we will go to our Bible reading this morning. We'll go to our Bible reading, and our Bible reading is Psalm 62, verse 1 to 12. Psalm 62, verse 1 to 12. And Sister Winifred uh, will read for us. Thank you. Good morning. Let us pray. We thank you, Father. We evoke the power in the blood of Jesus to reveal thy words unto us and to transform us in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 62, 1 to 12. Truly, my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowling wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. For they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies 
They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. My soul waits, thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. Six, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us. Surely men of low degree are vanity and men of high degree are a lie to be laid in the balance. They are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God had spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God and also unto thee. O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for the reading of his word. Hallelujah. We all welcome once again into God's presence this morning. Hallelujah. The Bible says when the word is going for the power to bring the word to pass, it's also at hand. It's also working. So expect a touch from God this morning. Hallelujah. Now from the scriptures that we just read, verse 5 says, My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. The message translation says, God, the, only, the one and only, I will wait as long as he says. Everything I hope for comes from him. So why not? Why not wait only upon the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords? So briefly this morning, I'll share with us what I've titled, Work Your Patience. Hallelujah. Work your patience. In the book of Hebrews chapter 10, 35 and 36, it's a popular scripture that we all know about. It says, do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it carries a great and glorious compensation of reward. For you have need of steadfast patient endurance so that you may perform and fully accomplish the will of God and thus receive and carry away and enjoy to the full what is promised. Hallelujah. So work your patience. One thing we need to understand is that faith and patience are identical twins. They are identical twins. That is when you've seen one, you've seen the other. James chapter 1 from verse 2 to 4 says, Consider it holy joy for my brethren whenever you are enveloped or in or encounter trials of any sort or fall into various temptations. Be assured and understand that the trial and proving of your faith bring out endurance and steadfastness and patience. But let endurance and steadfastness and patience have full play and do a thorough work so that you may be perfectly and fully developed, lacking in nothing. Hallelujah. Lacking in nothing. So the power of patience is a working power. Because when faith tends to waver, it is patience that comes to its aid. We read from scriptures that Abraham hoped against hope. That was the power of patience at play, at work. That was him working his patience. Faith and patience will produce every time. But what patience without faith has no power to call into reality the things desired. Because the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. So patience without faith has no substance. Faith without patience will often fail to stand. Firm on the evidence of the word that gives deed to things not seen. 
So faith without patience at work will often fail to stand firm on the evidence of the word. Without the power of patience at work, we will always allow our natural senses to overwhelm our faith. That is based on what the word says. That is why it says, my soul, wait thou only, be patiently waited only upon the king of kings, the Lord of lords. So without the power of patience at work in us, we will always, we will allow our natural senses to overwhelm our faith. That is based on what the word says. First Thessalonians 5.24 talks about what? Faithful is he. God is faithful. He's the one that has called you. He's the one who also will do it. So we can always count on God's faithfulness to always do what he has said or promised, to always come through for us. Patience is what undergirds, is the foundation, is the support for faith and gives it endurance to persevere until the answer comes. It gives faith perseverance to, it gives faith endurance to persevere until the answer comes. Remember that what faith is a powerful force. It always works. But without patience, we ourselves stop the faith, the force of faith from working with negative confessions, with negative actions. What? Because what we lack the patience, the working of patience to bring about what we are standing upon, the word that we are standing upon. Majority of the time is not because our faith is weak, but we lack patience. And remember that the patience we are talking about is not the traditional one. The traditional one is of being satisfied with whatever comes your way. We're not talking about patience where you are stuck in traffic and you are patiently waiting. No, the patience we are talking about is a real force. It has to be developed the same way that you develop your faith. Paul said in the book of Romans 5, 3, is it moreover, let us all also be full of joy now. Let us exult and triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produce patient and unswerving endurance. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean that what you joy in your tribulation. Say no. Trials and tribulations do not develop faith. When you're going through trials and temptations and going through storms and fire and all that, it does not develop your faith, but it develops your patience. Because faith only comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. It doesn't come through your trials or your temptations or your tribulations. When you're going through that, you are developing your faith. Faith is developed by acting on what God's word. And patience is what keeps the door open for faith to work and overcome the situation. Patience is what keeps the door open for faith to work and overcome the situation. Having patience, the patience we are talking about is being the same way at all times. That is being single-minded. We look at Joseph, the story of Joseph, from the time that he saw he had that dream, that he was sold, that he was put in prison. All through his life, that 13 years that he spent in all those trials, in all those tribulations, he maintained, he was still the same. He did not lose his joy. He did not change. And that was what kept the door of faith open till finally the time of his word came. The, the time of his word came. So working your patience means our response or reaction in every circumstance of life is the same. It is based on the word of God. It is based on the word of God. It is patience that guards our minds, our soul, our will, our intellect against admitting a doubt or confession of fear into your consciousness. It is patience that guards against that. Now the Romans that I just read earlier on verse five, verse one says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul went on to read, uh, talk about all the tribulations, all the trials and whatnot that I just read about. Now, Paul was talking about what? His peace. His peace in God, not only when things were working out, but even in trials, even in persecutions, he did not go, he did not let go of his peace. The trials worked his patience, his patience in God. Now, the reward for patience is experience. The reward we get out of being patient is experience because patience produces the reward of experiencing the answer. So you gain experience, you enjoy experience because that's what patience produces. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 says, follow the example of the ones who inherit the promises through faith and patience. That's why I said they are identical twins. They work hand in hand. You cannot have one working without the other. Follow the example of the ones who through what? Faith and patience have enjoyed, have experienced the reward of the promise. So after you have acted on God's word by faith, then patience what? Comes into action to produce the experience of victory. Patience comes into action to produce the experience of victory. Now, through patience, hold fast to the word concerning what you have prayed about, concerning what you pray about, concerning what you have believed. Because the word of the Lord is going to be tried. The word that you have believed is going to be tried. When Jesus said in heaven, when God asked the question, who will go for us? And Jesus said, I will go. That word that he said, I will go, was tried. It was tried that he got to a point he was asking if it could be taken away from him. So the word that you have spoken, the word that you have prayed about will be tried. But then you hold fast to what? Your patience. Your patience. Because it is patience that will produce the experience of victory for you and I. So this morning, work the power of patience. The power of patience is not being the same is not being uh, sitting down and not doing nothing, waiting for anything to happen. But no, you stay in the same. You stay in the same. Remember, faith opens the door to God's promises for you and I. And patience keeps it open until that promise is fulfilled. Patience keeps it open until that promise is fulfilled. The Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We know that from scriptures. Now, my question is, do you know we are also the same? Because we are made in his image, we are made in his likeness. So if he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, that means we also have that capacity to also be the same. So by the power of the Holy Ghost to work in within us, we can be the same every day, no matter what happens, if we we'll put our trust in the word and let patience go to work. Some other translations in the King James Version, it says to employ patience. Employ is what? Something that you do. So that means what? Patience is something that you do. It's not passive. It's something that you work out. You work out. So this morning, as we go into our personal moment, among other things that you're going to present to your father, the king of kings, you want to pray for inner strength, to be strengthened with might in your inner mind. Because in the days of adversity, when a man falls, it's because what? His strength is weak. His strength is weak. The grace to continue to stand. Because we know that God is never late. He is always on time. So let's go before him this morning in our personal moment. Crying unto him, lifting up your voice unto him, asking for grace. Asking for grace to be able to stand. Asking for strength in your inner mind. He said, I am with thee to strengthen thee. Yea, I am with thee to also do it, to help thee. 
So in his presence, we secure his help concerning the affairs of life. So let's go before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, this morning in our personal moment with him, and we'll call us back shortly. Hallelujah.
you, God. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. We thank you for answers to prayers this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Abraham said to his servant, when he was sending him to go look for a wife for Isaac, he said, the Lord in whose presence I walk habitually will send his angel with you and prosper your way. So this morning I say to each and every one of us, by the word of the living God, that his angel will go before you and prosper your way today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will enjoy good success today as you step out in the name of the Lord Jesus. The arm of the wicked extended towards you and yours is cut off in the name of the Lord Jesus. Sarah said, God has made me laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. Therefore, God himself make you laugh and be celebrated as you step out and go about your day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has sent us what his spirit and he has sent forth also ministering spirit, which are his angels to minister unto those who shall be heirs of salvation. Therefore, that thing that you need or desire to make your day fruitful and prosperous, may the ministering spirits, the angels of the almighty God, Make it available to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be celebrated at work, in your business, in your career, in your education, whatever you find the works of your hand doing this day. May you be celebrated in it, in the name of the Lord Jesus. He will surely send his angel with you this day and prosper your way as well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now remember that this morning devotion program runs Monday to Friday, hallelujah. Monday to Friday, 5 a.m. Mountain Time to 6 a.m. Mountain Time. So we're back here again on Monday morning, hallelujah, ushering in yet another new month but beginning it in the presence of the living God, praising him. So Monday will be our praise day. But then between now and Monday, you have Sunday to go to church. Make sure that you invite an unsaved soul, not a friend or a colleague who is already going to another church, an unsaved soul to your church. Bring God a gift of an unsaved soul and let the spirit the Holy Spirit, do his work, perform his work on that individual in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your day is blessed. The angel of his presence goes with you and calls you to laugh all through this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the goodness of our Lord in closing. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen have a wonderful and blessed day jesus is lord see you on monday